Hello, and welcome to Customer Effects Training Snippets. Uh, my name is Dale Richter, and today our training snippet is going to be about creating a new opportunity in the SalesLogix web client. Let me quickly switch over here to my web client, and I'll walk you through creating a new opportunity. Now, I've opened up my web client here to an account, uh, the account being Roswell Company here, as you see in the top part of the screen. Um, I want to, instead of going to the opportunities to create an opportunity, I'm going to stay right on the account level and go up to the new and choose new opportunity. When I do it from the account level, then it will automatically put in the account name for me. And if I have my options set up correctly, down in the bottom here, it also put in the contact for me. So up in the top here, the first thing it did was name this opportunity for me in the description field. This is the default naming convention for Sage Sales Logics. Um, it puts the company name along with the phase number. Phase number one is the first opportunity. Phase number two, three, four would be subsequent opportunities after this one. Um, it also put in the account manager for me as uh, the account manager was on the account. There is a reseller field. If you choose to use a reseller, you can choose that here from the magnifying glass over on the right. And the estimated close date. This estimated close date is also set up in your options. Right now it's set up to be two months out and to the end of the month. You can change that default setting. You can also just click on the calendar over on the right hand side here and choose any specific date you want for this opportunity. Up in the upper right hand corner here we have our sales potential. That sales potential will be derived from our products once we add our products here. So we're not going to touch that right now. Status is starting out at open. Of course we want our opportunities to be open when we open them up. Uh, and then there's a type field. Now the type field that SalesLogix has in here by default are add-on opportunities and new opportunities. You can switch this to your company's requirements, of course, just through changing the pick list. I'm just going to choose new here. In the lead source field, if I click on the magnifying glass over on the right, I can also choose a lead source for this opportunity. I'm just going to click on search up on the top part of the screen. When I click on search, it's going to list all my opportunities. Now, I didn't put any filtering criteria because I knew my list was fairly short and it would fill this entire window, whereas if we had lots and lots of different lead sources, we may want to filter somewhat. I'm just going to choose lead source here by uh, clicking on trade show and then click on OK. The last field in the top part of the screen here is our close probability. Again, from our options, it's currently setting it at 1%. I probably want to change that and put it at least 10, maybe 25%. I'll put this one. Now before we save this opportunity, I want to actually add products. So in the middle portion here, you see the products tab. And over on the right hand side, we have a plus sign there to add our products. I'm just going to click right on that plus sign. And it's going to bring up the add opportunity product window. And in the top part of that window, we see all different kinds of filters to narrow our list of products when looking for products. We can filter by name, by SKU number, we could choose to only display product packages. Uh, we can narrow it by family or by status. I'm going to choose family here just by clicking that checkbox there. And then from the pick list, I'm going to choose hardware. Once I've chosen my search criteria, over on the right hand side, we want to click on show results. When I show results, it shows me the narrowed list of products just in the hardware family. Now to choose one of these products, I'm going to click on the Toshiba Tecra here. And in the middle part of the screen, I'm just going to click on Add. This is going to add that Toshiba Tecra over to the right half of the screen. Now it's already showing me the pricing that's been set up for this. Uh, the base quantity is going to be one. If I want to change that adjusted price or change the quantity, or even change the price level here, I'm just going to click on the Edit Hyperlink and it's going to open up that product for me. So now you see I can change the price level. I could choose MSRP, the retail, the wholesale, if you're using price levels. If 
I click on retail you'll see that it switches that price for me I can also then manually adjust that price if I want to if I want to adjust it back down to eighteen hundred dollars and I can also adjust the quantity here I'm gonna put in a three now one thing you have to be careful of you don't want to just click on OK here because you have not saved those changes yet so I want to click on update over on the left hand side here the update hyperlink once I click on that it's gonna go ahead and update that information and lock it down for me so it's locked down now at eighteen hundred dollars a quantity of three and of course I can choose as many products as I want here I'll click on one more and I'm gonna add that product also so it gives me another line item I don't need to edit the pricing or the quantity here I'm gonna leave it at twenty three ninety nine and the quantity of one and I'm just gonna click on OK this is gonna add those two products to my products grid within the ins insert opportunity screen now down one more tab we have competitors so if we know what competitors we're up against on this opportunity we can just go over to the right hand side here click on the plus sign and again I'm just gonna click on the search button and that's gonna list the competitors that I have in my database to choose one of these competitors I just highlight it and click on OK in the bottom right hand corner of the screen now with that competitor if I go in and edit that competitor it gives me a totally different screen in which I can set a rating for them whether that's an internal rating or a Dun & Bradstreet rating I can set their strengths their strategy um, any weaknesses they have may have or any notes on this specific opportunity and there is also a checkbox there to tell us whether they are the incumbent currently with this company so some other fields that we can play with here uh, to help us win our opportunity. The last tab down in the bottom of this screen is our contacts. Now it automatically added uh, my contact, my primary contact from that company because that's the way my options are set up. Now I can also edit this contact. When I edit this contact I can choose the role they're playing in this opportunity if they have a competitor preference that would bring me right back into my competitors again uh, there is a standing field how is our current standing with them and if we have any strategy um, to win this deal with this person we can type that in there also if there's any personal benefits for this person closing this deal or any issues this person may have about closing this deal we can fill them all in also so again all just trying to advance us into a state of winning this opportunity so I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK here now I want to make sure to save my opportunity in the upper right hand corner and we have two save icons if I was doing several opportunities I could do save a new whereas it would clear out the screen and I could add another new one or I can simply click on the update or the save button it's going to save all that offer information for me and bring me to the opportunity detail view. So now we're looking at the opportunity detail view with the opportunity snapshot in the upper right hand corner. You see with the snapshot that it's actually now showing us a sales potential and showing us a weighted value. So that sales potential is the amount of our extended prices of our products down here in the bottom part of the very screen and the weighted dollar amount is coming from the closed probability of 25 percent times our sales potential equals our weighted amount so as we continue on with this opportunity we want to just uh, keep moving that up through our pipeline through the different percentages till we actually close it at hundred percent and we'll look at closing an opportunity in another webinar um, this one is just simply creating a new opportunity and at this point we could add new activities new phone calls new meetings we could always go in our tabs down at the bottom and add products or remove products as needed as we uh, keep moving this opportunity through the pipeline this webinar 
has been about creating a new opportunity in the SalesLogix web client. I want to thank you for joining me this afternoon. And again, my name is Dale Richter with CustomerFX Training Snippets. Have a great day.